in the beginning, the critical issue that I think was the one of the thing when we finally realized that it, we became very clear what we needed to do was, was this virus an efficient spreader from human to human? What about community spread? Because there's no doubt that we knew that we would get cases here. And when we got cases here, that people who were documented to be exposed, relatives, husband-wife combinations of someone that comes over, if they get infected, that's not community spread. You know exactly what the source is. A person travels from Wuhan, they're here, they unite with someone, husband, wife, or who would have you, they get infected. The insidious aspect about community spread is that it's spread in the community and you don't know who is infecting who. You don't have an identifiable point source. Once that happens, that is the big red flag that we have a real serious problem. And that's when we first started realizing the first community spread that was not related to an identifiable source. That first case of community spread, that California woman with no known connection to China, Italy, or any of these hotspots, was not tested for days before learning she had coronavirus. Now we see an explosion of that. That's what's exactly what went on in New York, went on in Chicago and New Orleans, and what is currently now, as you and I are speaking, which is going on in several of the southern states. We're having a surging of community spread. I think we need to be uniform in some fundamental principles. I'm referring to them now as the fundamentals. And the fundamentals are not rocket science. It's universal wearing of masks, avoiding crowds, close the bars, stay physical distance, personal hygiene, washing your hands. When you have restaurants, avoid indoor as much as possible. Outdoor is better than indoor. If you're in a restaurant, make sure it is not capacity, that it's seated separate. If you do those things, masks, no crowds, physical distance, personal hygiene, no doubt you're going to be able to turn these things around with something as simple as that. I think history will judge me by what I've done, and I've devoted my life to public service and my life to public health. And to the extent that they judge me, they can look at the record of what I've been through and what I've done dating back from HIV to pandemics and make up their own mind. That's for them to judge. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.